Welcome to Living Your Life Well Planned, the 80-20-365 success system invented by Adam Vincent Gilmer. I'm your host, Gene Velitis, and welcome to this uh, podcast. We've been having so much fun with all of these podcasts. We really hope you're enjoying them. If you're uh, online looking at these two incredibly handsome guys, or if you're just listening on Apple iTunes or Spotify, uh, we're learning a lot. Uh, what I'd like to tell you is I'm, I'm a student of this system and it's been life-changing for me. And uh, I know it's been life-changing for Adam. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's really, really something. Now, I'm gonna make a recommendation. You know, these podcasts are free. Going to the website is free. Free is good. It's, a, it's an incredible price for the kind of material you're getting. But what you really need is you need your daily planner. And I'm not hyping this. The daily planner is something that you will open up first thing in the morning. You will uh, visit and read your purpose statement. You'll plan out your day. You'll plan out your month. You'll plan out 90 days. You'll plan out three months. You'll plan out 180 a year. You'll get your quarter done. And you'll fill up one book and you'll go to the next book. And although this may sound foreign to you, it will become familiar to you and you will have a plan for your life and you'll really see some incredible results. Well, Adam, we're back today. And, and uh, you know, in our last podcast, we were talking about planning out that first 30 days. What I noticed in my life was as I planned out my first 30, 30, 30, uh, it got progressively easier to do. I got more excited right. about things. I started seeing results. And like we always say, if you have no plan or goal in your life, you will achieve that as well. But if you write it down and you have something really big and bold and you dream, you know what? You're going to realize that as well. And Adam has been tremendously successful. Uh, if, if you just pick this podcast out of the blue, Adam's next book that he's working on is my first $100 million. I mean, that's significant. And I can't wait until we get into those podcasts as well. So um, in our last episode, we talked about those first 30 days and, and, and what we needed to do. Uh, you can also get more information on how to fill out your daily planner and, and how to follow the system on the, on the website as well. So let's talk about your first 90 days. What do we need to do? How do we get started? Get, get, well, get first, everybody excited. The, the first thing is you got to get um, a planning system. And, you know, uh, this year is... Um, this year's the planning system is how it arrives. There's four uh, journals in here. Every single journal has 90 days. And of course, we have a trial system on the website. It's, it's, it's your first 30 days, but then you're getting into your 90, right? And then the reason why you're going to transition from that freebie to going into um, uh, a full 90-day planner is because, you know, you've, you've created a new habit. And then what you realize very fast is like, well, I want to have this running with me all the time. And there's things you're going to write down in your 90 days that you're going to have to look back on. In fact, just the other day, I was uh, working with a very, very big um, distributor of, of some products of, of our other company that we're in. And I'd written down his phone number in the planner, right? And um, I was reminded, hey, listen, you got to give him a phone call. And I never saved it to my phone. I've been busy, what have you. So the beautiful thing was, because he's a player, he... Uh, um, he has 62% uh, of all the veterans hospital distribution and buying. So m massive contact. And I, and I neglected to save his name and phone number in my phone, but I'd written it down in my planner. So looking for it was like I had to flip back in the book and I found it from, uh, you know, a month and a half ago. Here it is, made the contact and, and put another deal together. Um, so the, the, here's the point. The point is it, it becomes a place of reference. It becomes like a... Um, you know, a chart, uh, like if you're a sailor charting your way through the ocean by stars, uh, even though I know we have GPS today, um, which is similar, right? But it gives you the chart of what you're actually sailing or what you're actually doing. And this is why these 90 day planners are very, very good because you can, it's broken up into quarters, <laughs> plus you can see the productivity. So I encourage you, first of all, to get the entire system for the year. We charge a dollar a day <clears throat> uh, for the system. Uh, which isn't a lot of money. We could probably charge, you know, for the kinds of results people are getting, probably should, charge, should be charging $10,000 for the system, you know, just to get people serious and say, let's go use this thing. Um, and uh, you get your 90-day planner. But here's the great thing. As you go through your 90 days, so there's, there's two ways to look at the planning system. Um, <clears throat> you know, uh, the first 90 days consists of 
making sure you know you got your purpose statement, uh, making sure that you're you're planned out correctly, uh, making sure that you've got everything done, organized, what have you. And then I color code mine. It's part of the CDs and what have you that I have inside the system. Um, you know, so there's there's red and I use blue ink a lot. So there's red, blue, and green. And everything I write in green is money making activity. Okay. Uh, everything in red, it's important activity, and it also might be, hey, get the deal done activity, what have you, but if, like for example, um, Valentine's Day, my wife's birthday, my kids' birthdays, I write all those in red, okay? So uh, not that it's a, it's a bad thing to put it in red, it's just that it's, it's an important item that needs attention. It might not be a top 20, uh, but it's an important item that needs attention, but any money-making activity I have in my planner is all in green. And so I have these color coordinating things. Then I write in blue ink specifically. Uh, I plan my day in blue ink. Uh, and then um, I only use black ink uh, as a reminder of what not to do, okay? Meaning a black mark, okay? Um, that's why I use black ink. Now, <clears throat> traditionally, a lot of people use black ink to start. So I'm gonna uh, advise everybody right now is like, <clears throat> let's, let's leave your planning like the ocean. Make it nice and blue, okay? And write in blue ink and plan. Now, you don't have to do it, but here's what's gonna happen over time. As you plan out your first 30 days, your second 30 and your last, you're giving yourself a guidance point to hit, okay? It doesn't mean that uh, it's gonna be perfectly turned out. What it means is, is that that's the aim, that's the ultimate goal. And you're going to have to make some sacrifices, you're gonna to have to improvise, overcome, and adapt to new nuances and somebody saying no, somebody saying yes. Or a global uh, pandemic, maybe. <laughs> Heaven forbid, you know. Hello. <laughs> you know, uh, an owner of a billion-dollar company gave me a phone call. She's fantastic. And um, she's like, uh, what new ideas do you have for, you know, what we can do from our marketing? I said, I, and I said to her, I said, hang on, let me go look back in my journals and see how I handled the pandemic before. I never handled a pandemic before, Gene. <laughs> so, yeah. No I, said, I don't have it. So what you have to do is I said, listen, the moment that this thing is somewhat over, you need to start up the events again and start, you know, leading uh, from a format. I, I don't know if we're going to do that as of yet because everything just put on hold again and what have you. But, but I do know that the number of Zoom calls that I've done uh, over the last 30, 60, 90 days. In fact, we even have a Zoom channel that's 24 hours now that I come on to and I give uh, reference and point to some of the students that have signed up to be literally coached, okay? Um, come on the Zoom channel and I'm like, hey, here's what to do, here's how I handle that advice. And it's what you've had to do because normally I'd be in a lecture hall, Gene, uh, or you know, in a big huge event seminar in yeah. front of 10 thousands or what have you and, and all these events are planned. So we have to change completely to go to doing stuff online. In fact, we, we launched an entire new platform. Uh, we called it live. And what we did was we had all the teams promote um, a particular link. And then we all came on and did it as if we were doing a live event at an, at, at a, an event center, but sure. we were all in front of our own homes. Um, but these things were all planned out. And, you know, and we just, it's so funny. The difference was coming out of uh, February, going into March, everybody had a different mindset, right? And then all of a sudden, can't travel, borders closed, this going up, that going up, blah, 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 you know, all the craziness um, started happening. And then the leaders in the field said, okay, let's redo what we're going to do. Here's what we're doing. Here's the Zooms. Here's, and we started doing consistent or, or go to meeting on, uh, you know, on the different channels. And, and we started doing the same thing. And then things change from doing like most of my calls I get right now are on WhatsApp, by the way. And uh, it's a video call. It's not just a phone call. Right. It's like, hey, video call, like, like we're doing right now. And you, what you got to do if you're planning your 90 days for your business, and here's the other thing that's really important. Um, part of the system also comes with a list of affirmations. We have over 100 affirmations uh, in, in each category, being brain, body, time, people, and money for you to go through as well. <clears throat> They're ideas. In other words, you know, you might find one is like, hey, I want to borrow that one for this and this one for that and what have you. And, you, and you, you've now created your affirmation list. And what's really important to do is uh, one of my affirmations that I say every day, and it's worked out so brilliantly for me is I attract to my reality like-minded beings who will partner with me to earn multiple six, uh, seven, and nine figure incomes. And, uh, and, and when I say together, we'll change the world. I really mean like, you know, we're talking about 
either making people healthier or getting some products into people's hands that make a massive difference to their health. And we, we help change that person. Right. But in the process of doing it, in the process of doing it, if I didn't have that affirmation, Gene, I wouldn't have attracted yourselves into, you know, into my existence or life. But it's because this is the energy that I had wrapped up in the ball. Now, similarly, you were probably saying, you were probably saying your own affirmation or other people listening, you know, and these are important things. You, the, the affirmations that you're telling yourself every single day when you're looking in the mirror, like when you're, how do I get things started again? You know, what do I really want to create in my life or our lives? These are things that you're su you're sucking into your consciousness, right? You, you keep these are repetitive thoughts that keep sucking in, and all of a sudden, hey, we're back on air, or all of a sudden, you know, I get introduced to a massive buyer, or all of a sudden, you know, the right person uh, opportunity uh, presents itself. And that's where people like on the last episode, you said well, people say you're very, very lucky. I'm like, well, listen, let's talk about luck. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm prepared, I'm planned, I'm organized, I'm together. Um, I work out, I watch what I eat. I, you know, there's a whole <laughs> living life in balance thing. And the reason why these 90 day goals are so important is after you get through your first 30 days, you're supposed to look back and say, where did I mess up and how can I improve? And that becomes the next new piece for the next 30 days and then it's like you go through this next 30 day piece and you're like okay and then remember if you got it all together if you have it all in one planner one journal you can look back every 30 or 60 days or you know 90 days ago or 120 days ago in the in the previous planner and you can see what you were doing like oh here's what was going on that day and this is why it's important to keep a record because um i remember asking a pilot and i can't remember which episode we talked about this on but i jumped off of one of the Emirates flights one day, maybe it was American Airlines, I, I'm fogging on that, but but I, here's the conversation I had. And it was, you know, um, the flight, the, the pilots have to file a flight plan, okay? So, so listen, they've flown hundreds of thousands of millions of miles, okay? And they're still filing a flight plan. Now the takeoff and landing is the same pretty much for every pilot, right? But what they do is, and this was explained to me, that as they take off, they circle out and they go on their um, on their flight plan. Okay, um, they're not. In, they don't know what the wind's going to do. They don't know what's you know. They get blown off course. And they told me they're always, not sometimes, always re recorrecting their path to their destination. And then sometimes you know, uh, coming in for a landing at their destination coming for landing for you to hit your goal at over 30, 60, 90 days, there's some new challenge that comes up and they have to circle one more time around the airport, okay? And then they come into a landing path, another plan. <laughs> and, they, and that's, and that's some, somebody on the airwaves saying, listen, you know, flight number, what have you, coming in from wherever to wherever, here's your new landing path. And that was, and then their flight plan changed. Right. So they had this whole idea until they connected up with the final, you know, tower control to say this and here and they get put in a landing. I don't know if you've ever seen this like at LAX or one of the air, major airports, but like the planes are like this lined up and stacked. Right. Mm -hmm. Line coming in. Somebody uh, in the control tower, you know, even though they were having their coffee or uh, doing what they're doing, had to say, hey, listen, I'm going to line these planes up this way. There was a plan. It was it was part of somebody's daily organizational plan to do this, which is part of, if you really examine it, part of somebody's thirty day, sixty day, ninety day plan. So, you know, this is what this is how you have to plan your plan your life. Now, <clears throat> it's also easy not to do. And what I mean by that is this: and you said this at the beginning <clears throat> of this is like if you don't have a plan, when when you don't have a plan, what you really have done is you you're actually running on autopilot with no direction. Okay? Exactly. And the problem with that is that's a plan too. It's just yeah. that you've been on that damn plan for too damn long. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> you got to change it. Uh, and a change and sometimes change is difficult, but if your life is meaningful and you have a goal and you have a outcome and you have a purpose and you, and, and these are, this is what's put together in this thing for you. Mm -hmm. Now I didn't just magically come up with this in one day. Okay. This has taken years and years of what, of what's worked, you know, um, behind me here is my, my library of books. And um, I got a, a note the other day that came in from um, the Napoleon Hill Foundation on the thought of the day. Okay. And I'm like, Oh, my goodness, thought of the day, like, how important is this? 
and you know, and what it was talking about was <clears throat> the repetition of building skill. So, you know, the way you become proficient at anything is sticking with it, sticking with it, sticking with it, sticking with it. And I think one of the things that's made me massively successful within my direct sales business or the other businesses that I have is I am so um, relentless on work ethic to keep sticking and learning, keep sticking and learning until it, until you hit, you hit pay dirt or you, until it, it pays off. And then once it's paid off, now you've created a, um, uh, a record of what to do again and again and again. And that's, that's what happens over a period of 90 days. Yeah. Um, go ahead. The, uh, here's what I find interesting. And I, I just want to review this because I mean, you know, you and I, we've been friends for years and business partners and I host your show, but you know, as I always say, I'm a student of this and I, and I do this every single day and here, here's how it's been life changing with me. You know, when we talk to people about this pandemic, um, I would say 99% of the population complain about it. And I, you know, you hear the phrase, oh, I can't believe this. And when's this going to be over? And I'm, you know, I'm tired of this and this and that and the other thing. So I have my daily affirmation that I made up at the beginning of this. So I'm going to share my affirmation with you, the inventor of the, of, of the, has me excited about this now of course i'm sympathetic and empathetic and it's awful that people have been sick and so many people have been died but you know what it is going to be over one day and when it is over i'm going to be like the husky at the front of the pack and you know what i'm not going to be looking at so i mean this is how the program changes your way now Here's the other effect it's had, and, and, and I'd like you to address this because this is part of the process when we get into 90 days. Um, for people looking at the, uh, at the video, if you can hold up the front of the book, we've got the wheel of life there. Yeah. And, and, as you, and, and, and as you have positive affirmations, and as you set goals, as you score your day, as you look at your purpose statement, what you end up finding out is something that's interesting, and that's called balance everybody's always talking about i want more balance in my life but the but the problem is nobody ever tells you what that balance <laughs> balance is if you look at the front of the daily planner i'll let you just go through it quickly that's called balance in your life and when you perform these daily tasks much like a mobile hanging over a baby's crib well guess what all the pieces of the puzzle start coming together and they all get balanced because they have to and that's just not a dream. It's as Albert Einstein would say, it's, it's one frequency meeting with another frequency coming together, the law of attraction. That's physics. That's not wishing about something. That's not being lucky. That's using a system. Well, um, I was, it was interesting. I found, you know, I found somebody that was really promoting that the earth was still flat in this day and age. Now, please, don't, yes. and, and, and I know that, you know, I don't want to- Don't email us. Please don't email us about <laughs> but, that. But, but, but I love the controversy, right? Yeah. Because it's fantastic. It's really funny. You take a, you know, you take water into space and you allow it to come out in space. And this, you've seen this on, on tons of NASA video and it balls up. I mean, it's just, it's like, I'm like, really hang on for a second. So you really think we're going to fall off the edge of the planet? Really? Um, you know, you need to examine your belief system. So, and why are all the ball, why are all the planets are, are, you know, circling? Why are they all circular? You know, you haven't gotten a telescope, go and look at the stars one night. Okay. Go and actually look up into the air. We actually have this technology. You don't have to rely on NASA video because some people are worried about NASA being a, this, that, and the other. Go do it yourself. Okay. Go get a telescope. Not that expensive. Spend four or 500,000 bucks on a decent one. Wait till a starry night, drive out to the mountains and look up and find a star or whatever to look at. I'm sorry, guys. Hang on. That's my phone going off. Right now, trying to make a point there. Here's my, po here's my point. Okay, there we go. Uh, here's my point. My point is that it's circular. There's balance. So, you know, what you have to look at your life is what is not a balance? Is it a, is it a meteorite? Is your life like a meteorite shower? <laughs> All this crazy shit going on. Okay. Or can you say, let me slow it down and say, listen, hang on, let me take my finances and get that plan. Let me go plan uh, my spirituality or what you believe in. Okay. Let me go and get some knowledge taken in. Go grab a good book. 
Um, you know, and there's lots of positive books to go and read. Now, and, and, and Gene, you know what? I'm so sick and tired of people putting down the, 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 the negative side of positive thinking when something doesn't turn out. It's, it's, it's as if as, oh my God, I'm thinking positive and you're expecting it all to change like this, okay? But for the last 15, 20 years, you've been thinking like crap, okay? So, so, so you've, got to, you've got to allow the seeds to actually, you know, root and grow and become something. And these are, the, these are the things we're talking about positively. The reason why you wanna have a 90 day game plan is so that uh, the positive side of that is you can look back and see where you're messing up, okay? Uh, the bad side of it is, is you're gonna mess up because you're, 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 you're developing new character traits, you're developing new ways of thinking and believing and, and you're altering your, your mindset. This is all part of the process of changing the set of the sail as Jim Rome would say, because Rome is a little sailboat, right? right. And, and the wind's always blowing. And some of us are going through life and some people are like, man, I don't have my sail out, but you want to get to the destination. <laughs> I'm like, listen, it's the set of your sail. The set of the sail is the personal philosophy that you have to sit down. You have to plan. You have to find the time, not find the time, make the time because you already have it. But go and invest it, spend the time. Uh, and when I say spend the time, I'm literally as if it was, you know, this 1,440 minutes in a day, 86,600 seconds. You got to, as they tick away irretrievably, 60 seconds. I'm telling you, this is going to take you to do maybe a half hour to 45 minutes. It doesn't take that long. And when you take a look at what percentage is an hour in a day, it's like 4%, right? So let's, let's break it down and say, oh my goodness, hang on. You're going to spend two, two and a half, three percent of the time doing this exercise to really start moving your life in the direction that you really want it to end up in. I'm like, if that, and if that's not worthwhile doing it, oh, by the way, you need to invest in the system, which is a dollar a day. I know mean, that might just break your bank. And by the way, if you don't have the money to do this, you really need to find the money to do it <laughs> because it'll change you, your life. You, you, you can't afford not to do it. That's, that, that's the point. That's the yeah. point. Now, and, and here's the other interesting thing here, and you know, and, and this episode isn't about a mutual admiration society. It's about what we both have learned and what I have learned as a student of this. You know, um, you know, we have the Wheel of Life. It's right on the front cover of the Daily Planner. And I mean, you know, here, here's how it works. Um, you, you, you treat your body like, like a racehorse. So if, if you get up in the morning and you look at your purpose statement and you, you, you see where your day's going to lie, then you go take care of your body, you work out. Well, guess what? You've got energy and you're feeling good, which means you're going to take that purpose and what you've written down in your 30, 60, 181 year plan, and then right. you're going to apply it. And guess what? Because you're healthy, because you've got a plan, because you're working at it and you're feeling good, guess what suddenly happens? You start earning more money. And when you start earning more money, you don't have to worry about being out of balance in, in, in other areas. So it, it, it really is, I, I keep going back to that little mobile hanging over the baby's crib, you know, you know, you got all these little pieces and they can go up and down, but when they're all, you know, all balanced out, life is good and the baby is happy and the baby just falls asleep and it's wonderful. But if you're the kind of a person who, you know, goes out with your friends and you go drinking till three o'clock in the morning. Well, you're not going to be getting up at four o'clock in the morning. You probably won't work out. You'll say, Oh, I'll get to the daily planner later. You're not going to be as energetic about your job. And guess what's going to happen. You're not going to make that money and you're going to blame it on everybody else but yourself. So there's personal accountability. I mean, you got to do this. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Gene, Gene, <clears throat> If we invested, you mentioned it, if you invested in a million dollar racehorse, we said this in episode, I don't know, the, the beginning, but if you invested in a million dollar racehorse as an investor, okay, not meaning that you're actually doing the training of the horse, but you want this horse to win the derby, you wouldn't keep it up all night. You wouldn't make it smoke and drink and do drugs and then expect it to run the winning derby, you know, at Churchill Downs that weekend or that next day, because you you but you have planned for complete failure. And for that, you have been successful, meaning that you kept the horse up all night, you made it do all these crazy things it's not supposed to do as a racehorse, and it, it's gonna need sleep and recuperation time and what have you. So you've literally, your actions have given you the true results of failure. Right. Let's reverse that around a little bit and say, now let's go and plan uh, a little differently. Let's go plan as if you're the trainer of that racehorse. And this racehorse I'm talking about is your life, okay? Right. And, you, and now you start saying, hang on, I'm going to go to bed at a certain time. 
you know what, last night, I, I mean, we have the in-laws in town right now visiting and grandkids and, you know, there's been this 90 day lull and everything, right? <clears throat> People couldn't travel, everybody misses each other, family wants to get together, you know, they, they flew down on an empty plane, figure that one out. Um, I hate being in the plane business right now, travel business right now, it'd be crazy. Um, but, you know, but I say that, but the, there's, the, anyway, we'll talk about that one later. But here's the point. The point is, is that they're, you know, you, you've got to plan this time. They made a plan to come down here and visit. Um, we made a plan to get back on the air and do all these episodes. Uh, we want your life to be successful. This isn't like a joke. This isn't like, oh, hey, you know what, please buy the system for a dollar a day and magically your life's gonna change. Listen, um, there's people that have purchased the system and they follow up with me and they're like, hey, you know, things just aren't working out. This something I say, great, show me your daily planner. And I see blank page after blank page after, <laughs> sorry, Jim, after blank page, okay? And my point is, my point is, is that that's not using the system. You got to read your purpose. You got to have a power hour. You got to go through the bottom lines for self, others, and work. You got to go uh, and work out. You got to watch what you eat. You got to get enough rest. Uh, last night I got enough rest so I could, you know, I went to bed early. And uh, why? So I knew I was doing this today. But I was also up early when it worked out. Got my stuff done. Got prepared, organized. In fact, <clears throat> just did another uh, couple webinars prior to us doing these ones today. Why? Because, you know, I'm an, I, or, it's organization of time and putting your skill sets to work that creates value. And because you create value in life, financing shows up. And that's what people are missing. People think that it's just about the money. Listen, when you, when you put your energies out there and you live with passion, um, you understand failure is going to come around, P, you know, pa uh, passion, P, F, failure, and persistence. Persistence is getting back into planning scheme again, planning, organizing, and executing, going over your goals and dreams. And why, I'm, why are 90 day, 90 day goals important? Because it's a measuring stick. You know, uh, if you owned a gasoline station, a 76, a mobile, I don't know what all you have up there in Canada, but you know, a shell station, okay? And, and the gasoline truck came to drop off the petrol and they didn't fill it the whole way up and you saw it was like three quarters full, but they charged you full price for dropping it off. You were like, hang on, that's the measuring stick. And that's what we want for you. Mm -hmm. Um, in our next this, um, Adam and I spent a lot of time in the road together, and I remember uh, one trip going up and down a highway in California. We were talking philosophy and stuff like that, and Adam and I, we had a good laugh about this, but it's very, very serious. We both came to the conclusion that most people in life focus on what they do not want. And isn't that an interesting thing? And, and when you say to most people, yeah, you're, you're probably focusing on what you don't want. People go, no, I, I, what, what, are you, what are you talking about? I would, I would never focus on what I don't want. So in our next episode, uh, when we get into your uh, first 180 days, we're going to talk briefly about how people focus on, on, on what they don't want. And um, just quickly before we go, you were talking about the Flat Earth Society. I, yeah. think the funny, I think the funniest social media post I've seen all this year was we are the flat earth society and we have offices around the globe. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, no pun intended. No uh, pun intended. Get your daily planner. Go to Adam's website, 802365.com. Uh, go back and review all these uh, podcasts. And repetition works. You know, you can listen to a podcast five or six times. You know, it's like books. Like, I, you know, Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. I think I've read about 137 times. And every time I read it, Something always new. find something new. There's always something that pops out of there and something will pop out of, uh, of this podcast or a video. So 802365.com, uh, order the entire package. You'll have enough daily planners for the entire year and they will get filled up. And in two years from now, when you go back and you look at your daily planner, you'll say, boy, was I ever setting a lot of silly, wimpy goals because you will have grown so much. And uh, you notice I didn't say change. I said, you will have grown so much. You'll still be the same person. You'll just be 
such a goal achiever. It's going to be incredible. Well, listen, thanks for this, Adam. Uh, I'll see you on the next podcast. We're going to talk about the 180 day plan, but, but we're going to lead off the next podcast with why do people focus on what they don't want? And believe, believe us, it's true. 100%. Thanks for joining us. 802365, The Inventor. He's Adam Vincent Gilmer. I'm your host, Gene Valaitis. We'll see you on the next podcast. Thanks.